hey, Mary, um, I felt bad that I wasn't able to come down uh, to help you pick out your laptop. Uh, I thought I would make a few videos to go over the stuff uh, that we would have talked about and then uh, you can just give me a call whenever you make a decision um, uh, with whatever questions that you have um, but uh, anyway uh, so we went to the Apple store on Saturday and spoke with them about transferring your files they said they would do it for about a hundred bucks um, but uh, all they do is a simple transfer, and I think I can do a better job than that. Uh, there are a couple of different options that I can give you. The first option is to do what they call a, a, a time a, is to do a time machine backup on your old computer, and then just do a restore on the new laptop. Uh, the second option is to just do a copy of your personal files from your old computer to your new one. Um, most people choose the time machine backup. Uh, because it doesn't just copy your personal files, but your settings and your programs as well. And it's a lot easier for, for most people. Uh, normally, I would say this is a better option, but your old computer uh, appears to have some problems, uh, some serious problems. And from what I can tell, the problems might be settings or program related. So I'm not sure that doing a time machine restore from a backup is a good idea because that can bring the problems along with it. Um, I know that you had talked with somebody about like the fact that the motherboard was the problem and all of these other things, but that's not what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is that there's like a conflict within some of the software that's installed on your machine. Um, but we can talk more about that um, later if you want to. Uh, for me, part of the joy of getting a new computer is that it's new, you know, and bringing a bunch of old problems with it really takes a lot of the fun out of it. Um, the downside of just copying your old files over uh, is, uh, is that the programs you had installed on your old computer would need to be reinstalled. Uh, this becomes a problem with things like Microsoft Office because they're really uh, protective of their stuff and you need to have like all the product keys and that kind of stuff to reinstall them. And I don't think that Stella brought anything like that when she brought back the computer from El Paso. I think she just brought like the machine. It's over here. It's right there on my desk. Um, we might be able to recover them somehow or even just repurchase the software, uh, but it's a problem that we wouldn't well, I shouldn't say we wouldn't have with the time machine recovery, but we probably wouldn't have that problem with a time machine recovery. Um, so uh, to summarize, summarize, you need to decide if you want to use a time machine backup to get your files onto your new machine or if you just want me to copy the files over. Let me know either way. Um, in the next video, I'll be going over the different types of Mac laptops that are available. Um, and... Uh, and then we we can have a conversation about that when we when after you watch that video. Um, so I hope you're feeling well, and uh, I'll talk to you later.